<laughs> Looks like you're having fun. Bloody Shirley. And that's the Blitz. They've got company, too. <laughs> so you remember me, Miss Purple Lightning? We fought a few years ago. Your little sylph feed was very entertaining. I'll be expecting even more from you. Damn it. I'm not here to play around. Hmm. So she's a total monster, is she? I can work with that. <laughs> I think we're going to get along. You're just my type. Quit screwing around. Tova! Agate! What took you so long? Sorry, ran into some trouble on the way here. Damn it! Looks like we didn't quite shake him. <laughs> Done playing tag already? Ha! Huh. They managed to give us the slip, I'll give them that much. Hmm? Huh. This looks... bad. Yeah. We might be in trouble here. The situation has changed. We'll take care of this. Forget about the Red Constellation. The majority of the Northern Jaegers are concentrated somewhere else. The Stalritter and the White Ion, too. Yeah, it was just a small group moving the artillery. Which raises the question, where is their main force? Look, we can't just let the two of you handle this alone. But they won't be alone. Oh. Randy, Major Michael. And the Draken and Spiegel too. The branch campus is here to support. We brought the Draken, Spiegel, and everyone from Combat Tactics. By the way, we used the booster to get up here. I swear upon the honor of the Schleiden School that we will win this fight. Schwarzer, listen up. We can handle stopping the railway cannons, but there's something I'd like to ask of you in return. Go protect that buffoon hiding away in his inner citadel. <laughs> inner citadel? When you say buffoon, you're not talking about... They must be targeting Juno. We meet again, Heavy Blade. Guess we redheads gotta stick together. Ha! <laughs> Randolph, was it? Let's see if you live up to the stories Estelle and the others have told me. <laughs> nice to be working with you, Major Irving the Tenacious. Zero Artisan Rondenor, show me what an A-rank bracer is capable of. <laughs> Perfect timing, Dolphy! <laughs> To A rank bracers and the Black Whirlwind, was it? Heh. <laughs> Thought one of those twerps seemed more interesting than I remembered. But whatever. This should be enough to get me fired up, I guess. Commencing operation! We will stop the four railway cannons! May the winds and the goddess be with us! Advance! Yeah!
I... I was thinking of taking a nap when this... this... Idios! What have I done to deserve this? Sloth and greed are sins. Know that you will never take hold of the largest territory of the Empire. What? <laughs> what? I won't let you go. Rustic girl, how dare you treat the next Duke Kyan with such a rough hand? What leader abandons his people, his comrades who attended the council, to save his own pitiable life? Goodness me, you're a disgrace to the nobility. Thank you for giving us a place to die. We may at last have revenge for the fall of Haliask. You needn't give us your thanks. You still must fight to receive your end. Please. Show me your final resolve. How can this be? It's been taken. That one's Ouroboros' emblem. And the other one is... I'm almost certain it's the former Northambrian emblem. It is. It belonged to the house of the ruler who abandoned the country 28 years ago. But to use Prince Balman's emblem must mean... They didn't want to cause trouble for the people back home who became part of the Empire. But they still want to show their pride. So stupid. There's Zephyr! Needhog too! And the Masked Man. <sighs> been a couple of days, but how you been? You made things pretty nuts for us in the canyon. If only we'd been quicker. I had a feeling you might be here. There's another experiment, just like the ones carried out in Sutherland and Crossbell. And Zephyr and the gnomes are here trying to stop it. It all makes for a pretty pattern. Testing out ions that shouldn't be able to move and setting the stage for a clash of the ages. Come to think of it, the last time, and the time before that... The point of these experiments isn't destruction, then. It's the battle itself. They're putting in place the conditions needed to force their opponents to fight. <laughs> I'm impressed you figured it out. All of us will take care of things this time. The Stall River and the soldiers from a dead land should make worthy opponents. We've signed a new contract with Zephyr, separate from our deal with the government. We may have lost in the canyon, but we'll make up for it soon enough. Sorry, but you guys just aren't needed this time around. If you want to get yourself some front row seats to the show, I won't tell anyone. Kiss my ass. In what world do you think I would accept that? Then what will you do? Hey, uh, if we actually lose, then feel free to jump in. Not like that'll happen, though. 
but we can't allow you to go in and handle things in our stead. If you've got any complaints, go right ahead and let us hear them. I could use the warm-up. Uh, what power? That's why he's called the Jaeger King. Huh. You're gonna need a leader this time. That is, if you're planning to take on the Maiden. <sighs> you're already smack dab in the middle of a battlefield. And in battle, if you don't have a leader, you're dead. Sure, you've got the Purple Lightning, Schwarzer, and one of the bigwig nobles on your side. However, none of you can truly be called a leader. Uh, that's... <laughs> then I will be happy to fill that role. <laughs> that's the Noble Alliances. It's the General's airship! Principal. Old Man Schmidt's here too? <laughs> oh, this is too much! <sighs> this some kind of joke? Well, you have your leader now. You must be the Rakshasa. I always wondered what kind of beast you are. Turns out you're damn pretty. I know about you too, Jaeger King. I'm honored to make the acquaintance of a man I thought was long dead. Now make way, if you would be so kind. Come on now, we were here first. I already had to wait my turn in Raquel. What makes you think I'll step aside for you? Because it is my right. Huh? Though things are different now, this fortress was once mine. I gifted it to my right-hand man. I can't forgive them for taking it over in his absence. And lest we forget the obvious, this is war, and you are my enemy. I would bend you to my will regardless. Now out of my way, unwanted guests! If you still refuse to move, then I'll clear a path through you! <laughs> Be honest. That was a nice speech and all. But why not come out and say you're dying to fight that woman? <laughs> I can't deny it. All right. I don't mind giving my spot in line to a beautiful woman. I'm gonna let this one slide. You hear that, Purple Lightning? Huh? My dad told me what you were like. Said you were a tricky son of a bitch, but you knew right from wrong. That's some compliment. The Colonel helped me out a lot when I was starting up Zephyr. I'd have visit his grave again. Well, good luck. Have fun. If you lose, we'll be here to pick up the slack. The resemblance is even more apparent up close. You're up against a living legend, her extremely powerful subordinates, and soldiers from a dead land. The Golden Rakshasa aside, let's see how Class 7 fares against this challenge. I'll be watching from the sidelines. Fine by me. Enjoy the performance. <laughs> I'm not Class 7, but if you want a show, you've got one. <sighs> that was utterly nerve-wracking. Ha! <laughs> what a pointless exchange. Professor Schmidt? Whatever made you come here with the principal? It's my guess that this will be the culmination of Ouroboros's ion experiments. I'd like to see for myself what it's capable of. Herschel briefed me, so I understand our position. I would be a fool to miss my chance to challenge a legend. 
Let's see if you're everything I've dreamed you are, Steel Maiden. That white ion intrigues me. The ability to interfere with space of all things. I will observe from here. These two are as crazy as ever. <laughs> I know, right? I can't get enough of it. With all due respect, Principal, we're acting as Class 7. How about we just call this an alliance between us? Is that... Of course. You may wield my title of General as you see fit. Speaking of titles, I'm looking forward to seeing your power, Purple Lightning. <laughs> no pressure, right? The battle in the canyon seems to be intensifying. We don't have time to waste. Let's begin. As someone who used to own this place, you'd know the layout best. How should we approach this? <laughs> Good of you to ask. It was once the headquarters of the Noble Alliance. The inside is like a labyrinth. On top of that, there's a mechanism that forces invaders to split their ranks to enter. How? Doesn't matter how. We just know we'll need to split up. I want you to choose how to divide us between the first and secondary teams, Schwarzer. I would note that the first team's course to the castle tower will be considerably more dangerous, and they will arrive there first. Assign your best to that route. There's no one here? No, that can't be right. Pleroma Grass! Could that mean... Huh? Oh, the beast like cryptid from yesterday. <laughs> is this Ouroboros is doing? So they have a watchdog sniffing around here. Let's split into an attack and support... No need. Rakshasa Onslaught! Incredible! The power of the Golden Rakshasa. I got from the intelligence division did not do her justice. <laughs> that was but a trifle. The battlefield awaits us. No time to get lost in thought. Lead the way, Schwarzer. Very well. Thor's military academy's class seven, as well as our allies, We'll be split into two groups for the course of this operation. This won't be easy, with our targets being Ouroboros, the Stalrider, and the Northern Jaegers. Ready? Then let's move out! Yeah! 